Alright, this video is going to show how to do MLA format for your Works Cited page. Um, I know it's something that a lot of my peers struggle with, and I struggle with too sometimes because I can never remember, you know, if the title goes first, the author goes wherever, the publisher date. So I'm going to show how to set up the page for that, and then I'm going to show how to format specific sources uh, for probably the three most commonly used ones. So after you've got a lot of your essay here, you probably put in uh, something from a source, you know, some information you need to cite it. And you need to put it on the works cited page. So to create your works cited page, you go to the last page of your document, go to the end of the last paragraph and hit control enter and that's going to just bring up a new page there what you want to do with that first line of text is hit this center icon here you need to center it and write works cited then hit enter and left align the text after that so now we're down to where we're going to enter in our sources to do this properly we need to go up here to this tool for adjusting the tabs and the indent. Now if you go to the top one it'll say first line indent. You don't want that one. You want to go to the kind of the middle button there it says hanging indent. Just drag that over half an inch. And what that's going to do is set up your sources in proper format. So now I guess uh, I'll go over some of the most common ones. I guess most of us are probably going to be writing our essays at 3 a.m., you know, the day it's due. Um, so I'm assuming the most common source is going to be a web page or an article from a database. Uh, a lot of us aren't going to be running out to the library at 3 a.m. So for a web page, what you want to do is... Enter the author, if you know who the author is, and it would go last name, first name. This is going to be the, the format for pretty much any source. And then in quotations, you put the title of the web page. This is for one specific page on a website. So let's say this one is, well, I'll just do this. Make it simple. Then you close the quotations, and then in italics... You can hit Control I to get the italics, or you can come up here and just click it. You type the uh, title of the website. So that's for the whole website. And you hit period, space, and you don't want to be italic anymore. And here you're going to put the publisher date or the company, sorry, the publisher name or the company that's affiliated with the website that's, that's publishing it online. And then you want to do a comma instead of a period this time and do the date. Um, usually just a year, something like that. Or if there's no date, you can do ND. Same for no publisher. Say there is no publisher, I could do NP. That's no publisher. Next, you need to type the form which would be web we're accessing it online it's going to be web and then you type the date that you accessed it so I'm making this on February 8th I think so it's like that and see what it did there is it, it did a hanging indent so that there's for a, uh, a web page now you can see it went back out to a left align first line of the next paragraph. The next paragraph is going to be the next source. So now we're going to do an article from a database. It's very similar. Most of these are very similar. Um, honestly, if you get it close, most professors are not going to care. Uh, but some do. So it's just better to be uh, safe than sorry. The same for this. You're going to go last name of the author first. Now for both of these, um, and for any source, if you don't know the name, you just don't put it. You go straight to the title or straight to, you know, the, the website. So here you would do the title of the article. 
followed by a period, and then you close the quotations. In italics, you do the name of the journal or periodical, and then get rid of your italics again, control I, or just click I, and then you type the version number. So I'd say, you know, or version or issue. So it could be issue 10, version 1, whatever. You can do 10.1 in that case. Um, and then in quotations, you do the date. Usually that's just the year. And then do a colon. And you say what pages you used. So let's say you used page say three through six. You do it like that. And then you want to do again in italics or control I the name of the database. Um, for a lot of us that's going to be EBSCO or you know usually EBSCO. <laughs> Get rid of your italics again, and we accessed it online, so we'll do web, and then you want to do, again, the uh, date accessed, which in this case I'll just say it again, is 8 February 2013. Now the third one here is for a book. It's usually not one we're going to use for this generation. We're researching everything online for better or for worse, but a lot of professors are going to require that at least one or two of your sources come from books, from printed material. Um, so same format, you're going to go last name and then first name. And then instead of quotations, this time we're going to italicize it and put the title of the book followed by a period. Get rid of the italics. Put the city where it was published, and then a colon, the name of the publisher, the company that published it, uh, and then a comma, year it was published, just the year, that's all you need, and then since this is a printed document, we write print, and that's it. Um, if it was an ebook, this is going to be kind of a newer thing. I'm assuming at this part where it says print, you would just type ebook like that. Um, and then in the actual document, you'll reference the pages that you used. So that should be it. Those are the, I guess, top three most common sources that are going to be used. Thanks for watching.